Siddhartha by Hermann Hesse. This book was written 100 years ago in 1922 by a German writer and he is, does a retelling of sorts of the story of the Buddha. You have the main character guy who is born into a good situation but he feels a deeper yearning for something else and he's trying to figure out the meaning of life and his own meaning and so he sets off talking to enlightened thinkers, joining a monastery and he goes through these big ups and downs of different life paths and all along the way he has great epiphanies about the way to live and in the end he becomes the wise man character that he I think he has in mind for himself at the beginning of the book and he realizes the majestic beauty in nature and in every little thing every every stone every blade of grass it's all a wonderful part of the universe that's all connected to each other. In a way, I hesitate to say that because it sounds so cliche, but the book does it more justice so that when I was reading it, it didn't feel like I was reading a cliche. So I give him points for that. One thing I found very encouraging about the book is I, I liked how you have the main character who goes through these periods of, of, of being really determined to figure out things. But then he gets involved with this merchant and then he gets a lot of money and then he wastes it all and then he just collapses and he hits rock bottom and he is full of this sense of horrible waste. He is a wasted soul. He finds his way again and part of the interesting to me is he had to go on the wasteful path to get to his current state of enlightenment. So it's a reason not to regret past mistakes because they build up to a greater level of wisdom. So it's a waste of time wishing you hadn't done something in some certain way because that's the past, it's over, it's time to live in the present and you can use all the past mistakes you've made, the past injustices to build yourself up. One of the main things that the main character concludes is the importance of loving everything uh, from the highest high to the lowest low in, in that the universe can offer. And I think it's interesting because he wrote this in 1922 and he was in Germany when the Nazis came to power and he, he wrote an essay where he talked about the importance of, of love and the Nazis hated him for it so he, he faced a lot of backlash. Which makes the novel even more impressive to me. He got to live some of the principles of opposition that uh, he had in this book. I thought the book was interesting in the writing style because it's very non-descriptive. He doesn't talk about what a house is made out of or what it looks like or what color it is or what people are wearing or what fabric or like there, there's no details like that. It's, it's, it's a very uh, simple non-descriptive language. So I loved it. Uh, in fact, it was so short that I decided to just read it twice because it's one of those books that is dripping with interesting uh, talking points on every page. I feel like this is a great book club book. Like you could talk about it from so many different angles and still there'd be other people who would catch things that you didn't. So I love the book. I give it a solid four and a half stars. If you have any recommendations, leave them in the comments below.